Hello YouTubies, this is Joker Scrab and thanks for watching one of my amazing YouTube videos. You go see some magic tricks in this video of course. Actually, you know. You go hear about psychopaths. Now I've studied these lunatics, you know, these uh total fruitcakes for quite some time on the internet because it fascinates me to, you know, study about what they actually think and how they actually feel which they claim they don't feel anything but I sort of doubt that they don't feel anything they probably feel a lot for themselves and they also do have the ability to fear things however the one thing I like to concentrate on this video is you shouldn't judge a book by its cover however there is a certain amount of truth in judging a book by its cover. Let me explain why. As a person ages, uh, let's say you get a psychopathic child and people say you shouldn't actually class somebody as a psychopath as a child, but of, of course some of them will naturally be psychopathic in nature, so they will grow up to be psychopaths. Over time, as they get older, they hold the faces in such a way, you know, the muscle tension and the way they look at people and study them, that it actually starts to tell in the face. The, the certain muscle weaknesses and muscle strengths in the face that alters the way they actually look. So if you get somebody who is always a nasty person, is always moody, it starts to tell in the face somehow. If you get somebody like me who's always a clown, you know, you get these uh, cheek muscles up here, you can start to tell that they're a bit of comedian and it really does begin to show in the face uh, you can actually tell if somebody's kind in the face and people might say well that's actually impossible I don't think it actually is I think if the person is old enough their true personality is actually showing in the face if they really have little emotions eventually there won't be many lines in the face, you know what I mean, around the eyes, etc, because they're not really feeling it in the first place, and that means they don't show the same word and tear as somebody who is actually normal. Of course, they will show certain word and tear, uh, maybe down in the center here, sometimes, uh, depends on the person, and it also depends on the exposure to stress, etc., and whether they actually are in a job where they have to think continuously. So maybe they're like this, oh, I don't understand this. So it depends on the person, but on the most part, it will show in the face eventually. So if somebody's psychopathic, the face muscles, in, <laughs> the face muscles in certain areas will be stronger than others, which means they all have this certain stern look when you look at them. The eye tension as well because they don't get upset as easily they start to develop these weird sort of stirs which means that uh, you can tell just by looking at their eyes sometimes that's muscle tension so it actually alters the way the body works it alters the way the foot the facial expressions are manifested into real life so you can actually look at somebody and you can say, I don't really trust them, just by looking at the face. I think it's relevant. I think that is relevant. And I think people will say, oh, you shouldn't really judge a book by its cover. I think that's just a way to get, you know, bad people in your life. If You should trust your instincts when you meet someone. And if you think that person, by the looks of them, even by their face, doesn't look trustworthy, you're probably right. Have you ever met an old witch, you know, an old woman, who you think, my God, her face, it looks so mean. And then you work out that she actually is a bit of a witch. Or bloke, you say, he always looks so angry and so nasty. And then you work out that he actually is mean and nasty. Because it all, always tells in the face eventually. It shows... And I think that actually adds something to the psychopathy sort of um, story, sort of, uh, why can't I get the words out today? You, you know, it adds something to the community who study psychopaths. They have actually, it, it has actually been on the papers, you know, that you can actually tell somebody's personality by looking at them because of the way the muscle tension works. So, 
it's not something I've come up with myself, by the way, but I've noticed it too. I've noticed the people who tend to, you know, hang out on the streets and get into violent fights, they always have a similar look in faces. They always look uh, stern in a way, and they always have certain muscle tensions in the face that you can almost identify with immediately. It's kind of bizarre, that, but it sort of also makes sense when you actually think about it. years and years and years of holding your face in a certain way will alter the muscle tension in the face, causing them to look in a, well, in a certain way. So anyway, I'm going around in circles here and I want to end the video. Just thought I'd add that to the community who are studying psychopaths. Look at their face. If they look like trouble, you know they're probably trouble. Alright, thank you for watching and goodbye for